Hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and in case you're wondering why you can't see the title of the game, I had accidentally flicked my control stick as I was picking up my controller. So, uh, yeah. But for those of you who don't know, if you flip... Oh my god, two wizards playing Magic the Gathering. Well, one wizard playing Magic the Gathering, and another one just throwing his cards around, just apparently singing Don't Stop Believin'. And there you go. I I didn't for some reason I didn't I didn't remember this one. The others I remembered. If I wasn't using this one, I would be using this one. Though so why why do we have art depicting Zeal, Freya, and Atlas, but then we leave out Shu and the twins? Like what kind of nonsense is that? Like that's that's segregation. Anyway, let's roll the die. Alright, so today's soundtrack is piano, and, <clears throat> well no, today's soundtrack is jazz, I'm sorry. And today's subject is Astral Dissonance. Now, this one has some very interesting, has some very interesting synergies in that it counts as movement, jump, melee, and projectile, so it gets... It, it gets synergy with just about everything imaginable. You could use this with the bunny ears, you could use it with the soccer cleats, you could... You could use it with the dark katana, you could use it with the... Gloves of Gambit. Like, this one just does a little bit of everything. I think the only other spells that gets such a wide array of synergies would be like, you know, Hammer of Atlas is the only other one I could think of off the top of my head, and that doesn't count as a jump, but it gets all those other synergies. So, take that for what it's worth, but I can't think of any other... Like, the Heroic Maelstrom gets a similar number of synergies, but I mean, that's any Jump Arcana, really. Like, there's a lot of different ways that you could use Astral Dissonance, and that in and of itself earns a lot of respect from me. But then, just as a Jump Arcana all by itself, it has... Something it has something that you only other, that you otherwise only get from seismic entry or thunder drop, and that is you can choose to move with it, or you can cast it while completely still like that. So a very flexible card. It's hold on. I was gonna say it has a five and a half second cooldown, but this is reducing cooldowns by 10%, so I think it has a six second cooldown. Let's put on a different robe. Yep, six second cooldown on this one. I math. I math very good. So I guess what I really what I really question is do I do a you know powerful projectile run? Do I do something heavily movement-based? I think I'm going to go Dark Katana Synergy, but not necessarily because of... Sorry, not necessarily due to lack of creativity in my thought process. Just, it's kind of what I'm in the mood for. I could also do a bunny run. You know what? I haven't done a bunny run in a while. We're gonna do that. And if we're gonna do a bunny run, then we want to just increase our damage, so... There you go. It is... Ooh, we're getting... We're getting very close to the Autumn Equinox, and... And we are doing, essentially, an Easter Bunny run. You know what? Sue me. I like the idea. Alright, so I like the idea of dropping a dash kind of in the middle of everything after I've jumped in. 
so I think I want... You know what, I haven't done Magma Rush in a while. We're gonna do that. Then... what sort of... The Easter Bunny wielding a whip? My, that's very BDSM of you. <laughs> No, I think we just go with the classic because we want to stay safe. Or... I was just thinking we could do something a little bit riskier. See, I kind of like the idea of this because I can kind of keep enemies a little bit at bay. While I wait for the cooldowns on my on my jump spells. All right, I think we've got ourselves something here. All right. So thank you very much for being patient with me while I work through my own thought process. As far as yesterday is concerned, there was no video yesterday because I slept very poorly and ended up just kind of crashing before I went to work. So no video mostly because I was super, super sleepy and my body said, hey, how about you pass out now? And I was like, I don't want to pass out now. And my body, my body said, my body, my body said, well, that's too damn bad. And I was like, no, and then I passed out. <laughs> so yes, we there is a little bit of danger present in the idea that we got Atlas third. But the reason why I wanted to go along with that is because Honestly, I think this would be even even more difficult at high at high difficulty. Cuz I don't want to have to deal with the horrible the horribly broken fire knights and their BS at high level. But what about the horribly broken earth knights and their BS at high level? Like I said, I may very well be putting myself in danger. So the obvious, the obvious thing I can start off saying about Astral Dissonance is, is look, it's a, it's a jump arcana with heavy combo potential. And whereas these things are also true of, of things like Heroic Maelstrom and Heroic Blaze, what sets it apart is that it doesn't keep you still for all that long. And it, can, it essentially throws out those dark flame projectiles to cover your landing. And yes, that doesn't exactly stop enemies that are immune to knockback from slapping you around when you land. Well, let's be fair, Jump Arcana are never exactly safe against those big enemies. So, you know, Stone Golems, Macho Ghouls, they can... They can still slap you around like you know, any enemy of that caliber can. I'm very much losing my way here. This is this is me playing a Metroidvania all over again. Nah, oh, Dark Sage get lost? Tell me it ain't so. Alright, do we have anything here I like? Yes, we have the Taggart Scroll. 
And I think we will go ahead and grab Frost Fan because a little bit of control never hurt anybody. And as you can see, because of how long the hitboxes last, it's very good for doing combos. Because you, you can throw this out at the end of a combo, or more appropriately, use it as a combo starter because it doesn't hold you in the air super long. And then you can come down with something else to just keep the damage up. And it scores a lot of hits, so it's very good for critical hit builds, which is why I want... Which is why I was thinking I wanted to do the... Sorry, that's why I was thinking I wanted to do the critical hit build earlier, and then I was like, you know what? Nah, let's do something a little different. Alright, good doctor, I'm going to donate this token to you. And you're gonna give me that in return? Jesus Christ, woman. Does it look like I'm here for tea time? But, like any other spell that kinda holds you still for a bit, it does put you in danger of... with, with archers and other longer-ranged enemies. But, as I had mentioned before, wonderful combo starter. Just because of the lingering damage that it leaves behind. It also has a nice range and vacuums smaller enemies into your into your vortex of damage. So you create a black hole, you're jumping, so you have some invulnerability. And honestly, that signature is just cracked. Oh, we can upgrade this. Very nice. And there's boss room. Okay, so is there anything else here we want? Why, yes, there are multiple things here that we want. I want the tiara, and I want the merchant's cart. But in the end, we must remain bunny. Well, since I'm not really focusing on critical hit, that's fine. So having just a bit of a base evasion chance sounds good to me. And let's open up the fight with a little bit of a zoop. And there we go, beautiful first fight.
or rather, first boss fight. Hey, we've been fighting this whole time. You tell me that's the first one? Well, if we were speed running, that would be the end of this level. GG, wrap it up. Call it a day, folks. So that was a little bit of a little bit of an accident there. I didn't mean to jump clear across the battlefield and then not do anything. Um, oh, hello. I see two things here that I like. And one thing... Oh no, I see multiple things over there that I like. Oh crap. Well, we're gonna end up very broke by the time this floor is done. But how is that different from any other floor? Or, you know, life in general. Now I guess the real question is, do I want Binary Splashdown or Airborne Slam? And I'm thinking the answer is going to be Binary Splashdown, just because it has, it has such long-lasting, lingering effects once it's upgraded. enough for it yet. Alright, let's go fight some more things. Oh, now I have enough for it. Oh, wait. I had enough for it to begin with. Ah, I'm silly. Do that. Alright, but now we need upgrades for both of these things. I don't have enough money to upgrade the robe. Ultimately, this is one of those robes where the upgrade is upgrade is about to, amongst the least consequential things for you to spend your money on. Yeah, the signature cast on this is absolutely nuts. It really does a good job at covering a nice wide area. So you can throw it out just about anywhere and still hit something. Unless you do what I did earlier and jump clear across the map and into nothingness. And as I've stated before, but for those of you who either don't know or haven't been around for when I've talked about this, 
One of the things that Movement Arcana are really good at is keeping you out of danger by keeping you constantly on the move. And they also have a deceptively long range because more often than not you're going to be you're going to be doing your actual damage a good deal further away than where you started. You're just also going to be moving to that location. That's kind of what I meant by these things are dangerous to use in big groups of enemies. Alright, so that's going to make one of our control conditions even better. I also noticed we haven't gotten the upgrade to Magma Rush yet. Like, I wasn't thinking about that until just now, and then it's like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we could use this upgrade as well. Anything good here? Uh, uh, I don't know, we get kicked around a lot, so I don't know if Sinister Ledger would be really that useful. I'll buy that though. And there's Nocturne. I don't want to give up binary splashdown though. I guess we'll just call that good. Um, you know, I'll buy it, just, it is a damage, it is an improved damage source, just not a great one for this, for this type of build. Hey, you need to go away. Hopefully you're all enjoying the run so far. I'm having I'm having a pretty good amount of fun with this. I always have like these like chain jump abilities. Basically just the Super Mario build. Like even down to the idea that I have fireballs. thought your signature spell was going to turn the tide. It just made you easier to beat. You didn't know it, but you were already dead. Or knocked out, because it's not like we're killing them in, in this game. I would say it'll it might be different in Wizard of Legend 2, but I'm guessing no, not very much. Oh, they managed to jump just out of frame. And they hit me with a rock! They hit me with a rock! They sacrificed it and dealt two damage to me. How dare they? Some of you right now are going, uh, I don't know about- I don't know if you're- if you're aware of this, Dark Sage, but that did 45 damage. Like, clearly, clearly you don't know what I'm getting on about. Alright, what do we got over here? 
Okay, so I think... Yeah, we can get rid of this and grab the Equester Cap. Because, once again, movement and positioning are very important. Those of you who've been watching my channel for a while are at, right now are going, well then why do you take these why do you take the anchor? Because even though that's important, I uh, I value slamming enemies in the face with a lot of big damage even more. Alright, support beam getting right in the way. Alright, let's all question now why there's a support pillar in the middle of in the middle of an open field. Surely there must be a good reason for this. I think you're still supposed to technically be indoors, aren't you? You would think that, but then why are there trees? Trees need sunlight. Ah, I don't have a good answer for that, do you? I mean, it's not impossible for plants to grow indoors, but I mean, full-size trees? Thing. The logistics of this are just insane. Dark Sage, it's a magical castle. If they want to grow trees indoors, they can grow trees indoors. What about all the other plants? I mean, honestly, the same argument could go for that. I mean, what is the limitation on Earth magic, really? Magma Rush. Alright, I was wondering when we were going to see the upgrade to that. And melt. I don't think I need that, actually, but it is nice to have the option. I could have brought it to... Meyer. Give him something to bring back to his family and Undermine. Oh well. Hey, have I already told you guys that Undermine 2 is coming out? I am so hyped for Undermine 2 because I love Undermine 1 so much. Yeah, if you love it so much, why don't you make videos on that game? Because runs on that game take a long time. Like, they really want you to be into those, into that game. Which, yeah, I am, but oh my goodness, like, it's hard to make content on that. At least video content. It would be different if I were live streaming, but... Yeah, video content on that game is a little rough, because... You, unless you're a big fan of long-form gameplay content, you... Like, most people aren't going to have the patience to sit through an entire Undermine run. Oh, that was not smart. You know what? I'm not going to say that because it got me closer to the other guys and I could take them out like that, so... Never mind, that was the most intelligent move I could have made. What are you talking about? Alright, we have to still be a bunny. 
So we have one, two, three. All right, so it's plus nine, plus nine. Beautiful. All right, beautiful. Even though it's more like plus 4.5 because of because of the tipsy gladius, I still say it works out just just because it is still additional critical hit chance. It's an additional 4.5 that we didn't have before. Hello, boss room. Hit the portal! You know what? I still hit one of them with it. It was still worth. Hmm. Movement. Alright, that Dragoon landed with perfect timing, I must say. Taffy. Alright, Mario, stomp the pinata and get one of those beacons. Like, what is this even called? Ward. It's a ward. The beacon, if you ask me. I swear I could take this bunny ear hood and just end an entire civilization with it. Especially if you combine if you were able to stack this bunny ear hood with the effects of the bunny ear hood from Majora's Mask. Oof. And it would be doomsday for this place. You guys come down here. Oh my goodness, that was so satisfying. Oh, you've got the little earth crawlers under me? Yeah, well watch as they don't do a damn thing. Your spell did diddly dick in the face of my Super Mario build. Alright, question of the day. Is this a Super Mario build, or is this a Super Luigi build? Like, I say Mario, but, I mean, it could be either one. I guess it really just depends on which brother you prefer more. Alright, that was a bit of an embarrassing finish there, but hey, it worked out. Okay, so we can finally upgrade this. That took you long enough. But we can also make the unicorn disguise. I don't know, between the Easter Bunny and the mythical rainbow unicorn, which one do you guys like better? I'm asking a lot of questions this run, apparently. Up to you if you want to answer them all. I think just for the theme, we have to continue being the bunny. 
but it's hard to ignore being a mythical unicorn. Beautifully done. Could have gone a little faster, but this run has still been quite effective, and I will hear nothing otherwise. You know what? I deserve that. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. These guys gotta go. Ugh. And then he just summons more of them. All my hard work put to waste. Alright, you know what? It still worked, even though I got beat up really bad. Sorry, Sewer, you can't have my lunch money. Alright, so, Astral Dissonance. I've gone this entire run without really saying word one, but then again, if you couldn't- if you didn't infer anything from the gameplay itself, what more could really be said? It's both long-lasting, but doesn't hold you in the air, which makes it great for combos. It obviously has the invulnerability frames that you really love from Jump Arcana. It can move or it can be cast from a still position, so it puts it already in a rare niche of Jump Arcana. And because it counts as Jump, Movement, Projectile, and Melee, it synergizes with so many different things. Like, I only showed you one possibility, but... It synergizes, and not only synergizes, but synergizes well with just about all of those other things. Because it has the multiple small hits, it does well with critical hit builds. It's got the big hits at the end, which means it does well with damage up builds. Obviously, it's movement, and that's damage up from the soccer cleats. Like It, it does a little bit of everything, and its flexibility... And it's wide variety of, well, I guess that's flexibility again. Really, flexibility and versatility are the only things you really need to know with Astral Dissonance. It's just a plain good spell, signature or otherwise. And that's kind of the theme we're going at. Like, I'm, I'm showing you the signatures that I think are perhaps the weakest in the Chaos lineup first, and they're still amazing. So that should tell you a lot about the quality of the spells we're working with here. It's the very opposite of Lightning, where, yeah, that got good at the end, but this is starting at a high bar. Like, we are honestly starting at just such amazing spells. But, I'm going to leave it there because if I start gushing now, I'll be gushing for, like, another half hour and just wanting to show you guys little examples of, here's something else you can do, and here's something else you can do, and... You know, if you use this spell under a new moon on the first Tuesday of the month with a ruby shoved up your ass, like, there's just too much I can say. So I'm going to leave it there. I, of course, want to thank you guys for coming in and spending some of your free time here with me today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and you take care, everybody.